all you holy men and women pray for us. We continue our series on the four saints that are actually in our altar here at St. Ambrose. These relics are placed in the main base stone and sealed and forever and ever until the Lord comes again, these saints will be in this altar. Joining us in prayer, we gather as God's family around this banquet table. Today's saint is also a more modern saint, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa. And beautifully on the stone carved to show where she is on our altar, there's two hands holding a heart. Her whole life, she knew not only she was to hold others in her hands, but that she was held in the hands of Christ. We can all do small things with great love. At the end of the day, she never saw what she did as humongous. She cared for the sick, the poor, the lame, those in need. Now, yes, it was in the slums of Calcutta where she literally lifted up lepers, people who were falling apart due to their illness and brought them to know a little bit of peace, of coolness, of comfort. And people will say, well, Father, we can never do that. She was a superwoman. No, she was a simple nun. But where did she get her strength from? Right here. In their convent of the sisters, the missionaries of charity, there's a giant crucifix in their chapel. And next to that crucifix are the words, I thirst. I thirst. Christ thirsting for souls. Christ thirsting for us. And Mother Teresa tried to help quench that thirst by bringing more souls to Jesus by doing it all for Jesus, by lifting others up to Christ. How can she help us lift others up to Christ? How can she help us bring others to the Lord? How can she help us ourselves come to the Lord as we are? If we need that healing due to sin, strife, arguments, anger, rancor, if we need that hopefulness that this too will pass and to stay on the steady narrow, to stay on the path to lead others to Christ. We pray that Teresa of Calcutta watches over us and helps us know how much the Lord cares for us and thirsts for us. May we quench that thirst by opening our hearts to Jesus and leading others to know the source of all mercies, Christ the Lord. Mother Teresa, pray for us.